Hi and welcome to Azam Sharp uh, blog again with Lego Mindstorm. This is the update on the previous robot that I was working on. You can actually see that now I have a tire over here. Of course, this is not a perfect solution because when it moves sideways like this, you can actually see the tire is actually being dragged, which is not a good idea. So you should always use a tire that is moving sideways. If you hear a storm outside, there is a, some sort of a tornado. But anyway, let's move to the other stuff, which is a arm. This is a kind of like a firing or a shooting arm with a robot. And it, this, this actually took a while to build. And if you want to really test the arm, what I did is I really, I created a small push sensor, which is right over here. Just a normal touch sensor and I placed it, uh, well I plugged it in the touch center of course and when you like when you press this the motor will get activated. You have to do a little bit of that block programming or the Lego programming to do that but it's pretty straightforward. Let's move to over here and what we're going, I'm going to do is just show you how it actually fires. Okay and uh, so there's a wall over there and what I'm going to do is sit in a way that you can actually see the fire going on. Let's, let's fire it over there. And you can actually see pretty intense firing. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the next mission is of course to kind of like you know, make the tire much more movable. It's uh, it's currently being dragged. Uh, not too worried about the back tire. It's okay. And finally, uh, if there is any way to refill the fires, if we can refill the fire, uh, then it's I think it's a winner win situation. That's it from Adam Sharp Lego Mindstorm uh, update. Thank you very much.